Okay, today we are here to talk about our newest product, Pilot Pro. It's right here. Um, I'm gonna run through a bunch of things on Pilot Pro, but I wanna just give you some history. A long time ago, 2013 maybe, many, many years, many years ago, we made this controller for gimbals called the Moby controller. And this was our idea of what the perfect, compact, portable, precise gimbal controller could be that didn't have to be a big, huge, heavy setup that you normally see in a helicopter. And there's a lot of people out there making great films with this. We love it. I'm amazed at how many of these we have actually made and sold over the years, really cool. So we realized we had never done this exercise, but for drones. And so we did it. Uh, we started about six months ago. We had some customers that really needed a a more robust controller for their operations. And so we put together a small team at Freefly. They knocked it out in like six months. Now it's ready to go. We're gonna pair it with Astro and AltaX and eventually all of our products. And I am gonna give you a tour of the product and tell you the things that I love about it, as well as crack some jokes about Henry and Ansel along the way. Uh, so first of all, let's start, what's in the box? So Pilot comes in an SKB case with nice foam. Everything has a spot. Uh, it comes with a strap. It's got internal batteries in here that'll run uh, the unit for hours. Um, it's got, it comes with a tablet. This is a Samsung tablet. It's very nice, very fast. The screen is very bright. You can go kind of like consumer drone mode, I call this, where the tablet's below. That's not my preference. So luckily I convinced Eric to build this very fancy hinging mechanism that allows me to fly it in the mode I like, which is like the pro precise pilot mode. So if you see people flying with the screen up like this, that means they are professional, they're precise, they're reliable, they're dependable, they know what they're doing and you can count on them. If the screen is down, total opposite, run for the hills. Um, so yeah, strap, tablet, controller, uh, accessory mounting bracket for the, for the bottom. Um, depending on which you order, it'll come with a radio backpack. We're launching it with the HearLink Air radio backpack. So inside this beautiful guy here, there's a HearLink Air. We will be bringing a bunch of other radios to market over time. Um, <clears throat> so let's, let's, that's what's in the box. Let's talk about uh, features a little bit. So like I said, there's internal batteries, one battery in this handle here, one battery in this handle here. They charge over USB-C, which is right here. USB-C, PD, a bunch of inputs, outputs on the, on the bottom. Um, so it charges very, very fast. So we built this one to have very fast and powerful internal batteries. And then additionally, if you're doing operations where you need to go constantly, you can attach this little micro V lock to the back, add this as power. And then you have the ability to just hot swap batteries as needed for as long as you want. The internal batteries act as a buffer whenever you need it. External batteries, tiny, compact, can travel with them, power the thing for as long as you like. So really robust powering setup, which is nice because um, that was sorely lacking in some past solutions that people were using. Okay, on to control. So high resolution Hall Effect joysticks. These are, these are very, very nice, very, very smooth. I'm really impressed with the precision. We've removed as much filtering and deadband as is as physically possible. Um, so the Astro and Alta that I've flown with this controller feels more precise than any drone I've ever flown on all systems that I've flown since I started flying in the year 19, 1962, no, 1999, 1999, 1998, somewhere around there. That's when I got my first helicopter or first plane or something. Um, we've got really nice rockers on the back here for variable adjustments of whatever you need. So obvious ones, you can do camera tilt, you can do exposure compensation, you can do camera pan, just anything that you need really precise and variable velocities. Um, these are really, really nice. The same thing, Hall effect uh, rockers. Really great. And then we've got trigger, triggers under here. So this, this controller is kind of set up so it can be comfortable for rookie thumb pilots. There's a lot of people that don't know how to fly properly and so they just fly with their thumbs. And so it's set up, you can do that, you know, if you want, um, that's fine. And you'll have good command over certain buttons. But then if you are a precise pilot, such as myself, you will get set up something like this, and you'll put the strap on, and you will drink a latte or a flat white before you shoot, and then you will pinch the joysticks for mat maximum precision. And when you're operating in this mode, you have good access to these top buttons. So we wanted either mode, we wanted you to be able to hit the maximal number of buttons and rockers and dials so you can do everything without ever taking hands off the drone. 
uh, I mean, hands off the stick because I want to be able to control as many things as my brain can handle. So this is my preferred setup. Then we've got these knobs, these potentiometers at the top. And these allow you instantaneous, no BS ways to control aircraft velocity max speed, aircraft vertical velocity max, gimbal tilt speed, and um, uh, gimbal pan speed. And so with just, just by turning these dials, you can take Astro from a crazy fast dynamic drone to a very slow and precise drone. And that's really useful if you have, like let's say you have a flight mission where I need to fly quickly to something to inspect and then immediately I need to slow down and inspect it. I'll put this back down on the desk so we can see it easier. So that mode is great for that. We actually have a, a specific flight mode that we're launching where you can toggle between two speeds. So you can keep it in fast mode, you're zipping around, you get to the thing that you need more precision on, click that button, all your rates go down to slow, your camera slows down, your drone slows down, everything is just how you need it to do your inspection. Working our way around the controller, we have these two three position switches. These can be used for anything and just kind of overall strategy on the controller. It won't be like this at launch because we don't have enough time to fully build out the app. But in the end, you'll be able to map whatever you want, wherever you want. Then we've got our three mode switches, um, manual, altitude, position. We've got a designated RTL uh, button here. And this is a prototype. This doesn't have the laser markings on everything yet, but it will have in the future. Uh, Ansel's favorite thing, the sticks fold down. So when you want to pack, these guys fold down flat. You can chuck it in your backpack. If like Henry, you got to run out and do some trout fishing at lunch, you can throw this in the backpack, take it with you. Power buttons over here. And then this is my personal favorite. This is a safety cover kill switch. So there's certain missions where I want the ability to disarm the drone instantly if something goes wrong. And let me give you a couple examples from my background in filming. You have a bounded box, you have to stay within for whatever reason. I don't know, say we're filming a SpaceX launch and they say, you can operate in this box, you may not come out of this box. We find out GPS gets jammed or spoofed and the drone starts to go off course. Um, maybe it's a novice pilot, they panic, there's nothing below it that can get hurt, they don't know what to do. You always have you know, deterministic control of what happens to the drone, which I really love. So kill switch, that's how it should be. Dangerous things should have a kill switch. That's my point of view. So let's talk expandability. So expandability, there's ethernet, radio backpack, USB-C, CAN, UART, all on the bottom. There's this little expansion play. There's a couple UART connectors. So for instance, you know, you could take a pilot knob and let's say you want a better focus control. You could plug that into one of these UARTs and off you go. That's something that we'll play with in the future. Um, let's say that you don't want to have a wireless connection. You're on, you're doing some firefighting and you want to connect to a computer. You can go ethernet to USB-C to whatever computer or device you need to plug in. You get to, you get on the same network here um, as, as everything else. So we try to make it as expandable as possible. This module here can come off and you can add, we'll, we'll design, you know, as people want them, various radio options. So First ones in the gate are Herelink and Doodle. Um, there's more that we're exploring and testing, but those, that's the plan right now. The first things that we really need this to work for are Astro and AltaX. So that's where all of our efforts going. So we'll be making variants of this to offer with Astro and with AltaX. After we get that in a good place, I'm excited to have a version of this that works with Ember. I want a version of it that works with our gimbals. I mean, I think this, this is just a fabulous control station and can be used anywhere. For me, it's, it just strikes the right balance of portability, precision, and robustness. So sometimes these controllers for various industrial devices get so big and heavy and intense that you don't feel like you can move around with it. When I put the strap on with this and when we were up at Free Fly Fest recently, you are like fully mobile. You can move, you know, it's, it it's weighs the way less than my two kids. Uh, it's really easy to carry. It argues with me less than the two kids too, which is great. All the buttons feel great. They're like these nice silicone buttons that feel good on your fingers. The pots are all very smooth and precise. We've pushed really hard on the software side of things to make it as precise as possible. So this is, this is cool because this is the first time we've controlled the controller for a drone, which ultimately decides how it flies. So we put tons of effort always into 
making the drone control algorithms and control loops as well tuned as possible and smooth. But this is the first time we've had the, had ownership over this. So we can remove all the dead band, all the smoothing, all the filtering that people normally put in there and say, oh, no one would ever notice this. We killed all that. And you can absolutely like feel the difference when you go to do a yaw on Astro right now, it feels just crazy precise and like you're connected to it. And then I think all the, all the connectivity on this turned out better than we expected. Like the ability to just wire in via ethernet is super useful. Cat, you can cast from the Samsung device to a Samsung TV. So let's say you're doing first responder work and you need to be able to show it on a big TV to a big group of people. The casting works really nice. So it's, uh, it's turned out to be very adaptable. And I think it's built to, it's built to last. It's made out of uh, all aluminum. Uh, the radio, it's modular and upgradable. So, you know, as new radios come online, we can add new radios. Um, and then the last thing I want to touch on is just safety. So I think this is the first controller with the designated kill switch. I think that's important. And, you know, the industry needs to keep progressing as far as safety and deterministic behavior with drones. And then the other nice thing is we built in um, super, super detailed logging into the tablet. So it logs everything. So you know, the, the ideal end state is if you have a problem with anything, there's a mechanism for you to contact our support team. And then Henry will get a message on his Pilot Pro, letting him know that there's a problem with your Pilot Pro and you'll be like on it. You can't FaceTime because it's Android, but you can do something. Google Meet. Google Meet. You do Google Meet until they kill it. Or maybe they have two things named Google Meet at the same time. They have that right now, just so you know. There's Google Meet old and Google Meet new. Um, I think that's it. I love this thing. Also, the thing I love, uh, FreeFly, FreeFly always designs products fast, but we designed this one really fast. And so that feels really great to have a super fast product back in our, in our uh, portfolio. Because, you know, you've been doing this for a while. I've been doing this for 10 years. You start to think, are you losing a step? Are you getting slow? Is cognitive decline kicking in? Have you not been taking care of yourself adequately? And then, bam, this thing pops up after six months and you think, Still got it, still got it. Keep in mind, I didn't do anything on this project, so I don't know why. Anyway, moving on. That's Pilot Pro, we love it. We're excited for you to try it. If you have questions, buy a Pilot Pro and then send those questions to Henry via Pilot Pro.